My name is Naz. I come from India and I came to Dubai 13 years back to do my master's in international business and decided to stay back, started working in marketing. I have worked in different sectors in hospitality, hotels, uh, real estate. Uh, then I took a break from uh, the corporate world uh, when I was going to have my first born. And uh, I decided before, uh, when I was during my pregnancy, I decided to invest. A very good opportunity came along. So just as an investor, I went on board uh, with with a very good friend. Uh, investor, I went on board, and uh, that's how uh, we founded uh, the company called Model Tech, uh, where we build uh, miniature models. And we have worked with various real estate developers uh, in UAE and Saudi, Qatar, across the region, also in different countries. So that is one venture where I'm mainly as investor, but. During that journey, uh, after three years in 2019, uh, I decided that uh, the, there was like a my passion calling, and uh, so I decided to launch uh, this brand called Tina's, uh, which is uh, chicken curry done on the modern summit. I come from Lucknow, so it was a very obvious uh, decision to go ahead and bring this art to the world. Living in Dubai, I felt the need for more modern summits and which lacked in chicken curry. So I decided to design these modern summits and get the chicken curry uh, done on the, uh, these designs, which can be worn uh, casually to office. And I had a very good response on my first collection. But uh, growing up in Lucknow, I saw chicken curry all around me, uh, whether it was the artisans, whether it was women in the household, even my grandmother, uh, you know, doing uh, on the, you know, like the cushion covers, tablecloths, the chicken curry was done everywhere. And there are more than 50 stitches, very beautifully, very interesting, uh, interestingly done. And I used to see a lot of women artisans doing it. And so when I started traveling around the world, I saw that it was something very classic, something very original, uh, which needed more exposure. To the world already people around the world love it but uh, you know that the original form of it is getting lost somewhere so i try to bring that on the board and I, it was like taking chicken curry to the world so that inspired me to bring back to bring that art forward uh, the biggest challenge that is there that, that i faced was the supply chain uh issue of this plus you know uh also the cheaper fast fast fashion version of chicken curry being in the market now uh you know the machine made which is not chicken you cannot call it chicken because it's a copyrighted art which only has to be done in the areas around Lucknow and by hand. So something which is being done by machine on the polyester fabric is complete violation of the art. That it is. So chicken curry is really slow fashion and it takes two months to complete a piece. There are almost six steps in getting a piece ready than just simply stitching a, a cloth, you know, and getting the piece ready within like two hours or three hours. You know, so, every step had a hurdle. That is the main thing. And then uh, everything, because it's all handmade. It's very labor intensive. Every step has labor involved. So that was the uh, main thing. I think the biggest uh, setback that I had was uh, trying to grow too fast. Uh, you know, uh, trying to get a lot done. Uh, like how I mean, mentioned earlier that uh, Tina is all about slow fashion. It was also about a slow, you know, slow operation, slow everything. But I kind of rushed into it in the beginning a lot, which uh, resulted in uh, some stock that was uh, there left with me. So, but then what I learned from it was that slow is better, uh, you know, quality is better than going fast, trying to get more done. Uh, because, in, you know, sometimes we are penny wise and pound foolish. So that is the biggest learning that I have taken that, you know, in terms of saving cost and money, sometimes we end up, uh, you know, spoiling the product. So I think it's going slow is better. And that, that's what is the main learning that I took from. I think we need to have clear boundaries on not to have that guilt uh, if we are, you know, giving time to our business or we should not feel that we are having this FOMO of you know, not being in our careers where we should be, we are with our kids or with our family. So the fight is within. Uh, I think first we need to really resolve that. Apart from that, I think women are able to do everything. Yes, we do face challenges, you know, in the boardrooms to the you know, manufacturing floors where you have to negotiate with the men. You have to the women are able to do everything these days. So the challenges are, I, I feel, is all within ourselves that we need to solve. But 
I think I only realized it after I became a mother. I felt that okay, I need to step down. I cannot be in career where I have to. I need to stop work. You know, it's like me blaming. But then I have seen so many successful women who are doing both the things. They are not uh, guilty somehow. They have overcome that. It's mainly we have to be kind to ourselves, and I don't think we need anybody's approval. Also, I think we are we are looking for people to validate us, whether it's family, whether it's outside work. Validation. Has any man ever asked for validation from you know anybody? He's just so. In Tina's, I am uh, looking to launch new collections. Uh, uh, you know, you know, doing it on uh, natural fabrics like silk and linen uh, because that is another challenge that's coming in chicken curry. Like I said, mentioned earlier, machine made chicken curry on cheap polyester fabrics just to fight the price war. So there also I am you know. Um, kind of launching this new collection where i'm bringing only natural fabrics with the slow fashion uh, you know uh, the original way of uh, artisans doing it and because it, it's not just bad for the environment where uh, this is causing the you know the fourth biggest polluting industry that's fast fashion it's also bad for our homes for our skin for our kids for everything so the also i'm thinking of launching chicken curry in the uh, you know in in the home section so for in the decor be a mixture of chicken curry with that kind of entered into the decor also you know uh, her belief in it's her way her belief in every woman entrepreneur that she brings on board uh, for the last 7 years she has you know without a doubt supported every entrepreneur uh, because when the new law came where women entrepreneur were discouraged from you know selling into their groups or into their small communities and having licenses it looked really tough but it's how it came as a full solution uh, for the women entrepreneurs making it affordable for them uh, you know uh, it encouraged women not to stop uh, their art their passion uh, what little they were trying to achieve you know without any differences i mean has supported them and it's how we has supported them mentored them helped them in different operations whether it was photography whether it was product development whether it was a uh, website everything she has helped uh, showcasing the products selling the products uh, events uh, so um, i think it's how we has helped in every possible sex- section that a person that a business needs help with and also the the network i feel and uh, yeah the push the regular push that we keep getting from its away i think it's very helpful would be that you know collaboration is very helpful it's undeniably the most important thing uh collaboration with other business owners with other service providers you know so without that we cannot succeed uh, the second thing is mentorship uh, that it's a two way street uh, if i have got uh, mentored from its survey uh, i also need to help other business owners the younger business owners with my experience with whatever way i can help them and the third thing is to be consistent uh, that's very important there are ups and downs always in the business uh, but being consist- consistent and being resilient is uh, what i have learned from its survey I just said that I mean we need to be you know uh, kind to ourselves but I still feel that we need to push ourselves harder also so I uh, it's just a thing to myself that I need to put more effort uh, and we always feel we're not doing enough uh, so but still I still feel I can do more you know so yeah work harder uh, do more with the brand uh, because I'm involved in few uh, initiatives so probably yeah try to give well, the time that it deserves you know divide my time accordingly oh your hands up if you with it drop it